Do I have to be really amazing in sketching before joining architecture? Will I earn a lot of money? Should I know all the softwares that architects use before joining architecture? So guys, in this video, I'm gonna answer all these questions of yours and I will go step by step, like year by year of your architecture journey and I will tell you what to expect exactly in architecture, how to be prepared mentally for architecture because guys, architecture is a very long course. It takes a lot of efforts. It takes a lot of time and ask any architect. He wouldn't disagree with me. So guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So the first year, I call it the La La Land of architecture. You don't have to stress a lot about it. Everything, every assignment has a good time limit, timeline, so that you can work on it very nicely and very patiently. You will learn a lot about basics of designing. You will learn about spaces, how space matter to human being, how you can design according to the environment around you like just the general gist of it not in-depth knowledge about it you will be drafting a lot you will be drafting details of brick details wooden details etc etc steel details even reinforcement details in concrete steel slab and uh, your beam you will be learning a little bit of softwares little bit of sketching and little bit of orthographic projection so it is it is not that difficult it is difficult but it is not that difficult. And coming to the next year, that is your second year. In this, a lot of details come in. In this, a lot of working drawings come in. You will be understanding about the working drawing. You will be understanding about the principles of architecture. You will be understanding about the bylaws, codes, like the codes to develop architectural drawings, not the coding on computer. But anyways, you will be uh, learning a lot about that your mathematics will come in where you will be learning about the load distribution you will be calculating uniformly distributed load point load etc etc there are a lot of things and i wasn't good at it so i'm not going to explain anything about it but you will still be drafting you will still be giving exams about drafting you will be giving exams about history you'll be learning a lot about indian history uh, ancient Greek history, etc, etc. You will, you will learn about actually uh, historical architecture around the world and it actually helps you develop your mentality like you know what we were doing and what we are doing now. You will learn a lot about it and by this time if you don't have your interest in architecture you still have time you can leave architecture. Coming to the third year guys, uh, third year is the year in which maximum students drop out of architecture it is gonna be tough like especially for indian students who are watching my channel uh, it's gonna be tough you will have university examinations in which you will have to attend uh, mathematics you will have to attend for humanities that is your history you will have to give uh, your drafting sheets and everything plus you have to do a final year project and you have to give a complete set of working drawings that was one of my nightmares because i wasn't using softwares by this time but by the third year you need to know at least four softwares that is your lumion sketchup autocad and if possible revit these are very important softwares for your third year because you will be producing good quality drawings you will be producing working drawings your like architectural design that comes to your final projects all those things you will be producing by softwares and that is very important so start learning software after second year that is of no questions that you cannot do or like you know i don't feel like using software that's not an option anymore guys if you are into architecture, you have to learn all these softwares. Now comes to the fourth year. Fourth year is a chill year. You will be uh, attending one semester in college and one semester is your internship. Internship is pretty chill. You will learn a lot about on-site duties, on-site responsibility. You will learn a lot about working drawings, how working drawings are produced, how they are approved, 
and how they are sent for approval from the government and all those things so it will be a very interesting year for you and by this time you will know like okay like you can manage your assignments you can you can do softwares you can do 3d you can uh, you have a internship you complete your internship you will give the final jury about your internship what you did and etc etc so fourth year is a pretty chill year but fifth year comes in and fifth year guys i'm telling you it will make you feel like dying it is that difficult sometimes and we make it difficult it is not that difficult actually um so you will still have all your subjects that were coming from the first or the second years you will still be going through all those subjects like history your mathematics etc etc but in this from the beginning itself you will be working on one and only one target that is your final year thesis you will have to select a topic you will be visualizing okay fine i will design something that uh i will design something like zaha the i will design something like frank lloyd right but don't go that humongous like literally i have seen people uh like acing acing their thesis in just small one room kitchen kind of apartment someone just developed a toilet and he got really good marks for that but what i'm going to tell you is don't stress too much about thesis and things will be fine because design is a process that is a never ending process if you keep developing a design it will never end there are infinite combination of spaces when it comes to design infinite combinations of elevations that when it comes to design plus you don't have any budget restriction over here so you just tend to drift off into the unknowns of design world so that is something that we don't have to do we have to limit ourselves we have to control our output our uh, emotions specifically i know you want to do a lot of things but don't set time limits set timelines set design changes that i will change my design like two twice thrice or five times not more than that and make a final commitment that by this date or this month my design should be finalized after this no matter what i'm not going to change my design no matter what someone says keep close touch with your mentors with your professors take guidance from expert architects take guidance from the architects who are working on site who are out there and working on real projects they will probably help you better when it comes to timelines deadlines and designing so keep all these things in mind and guys my next video will be about thesis how to manage your thesis how to go ahead with your thesis topics and how to actually clear your final year project what all things are needed what all things are required and what do a juror or a person who is in front of your sheet judging your sheet is trying to look for so guys that video will be a really amazing video so stay tuned and guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please please guys subscribe to my channel support to my channel and this will help me to keep making such videos for all of you and to support you because there wasn't any mentor for me i was my own mentor i was drifting apart i was i was struggling with my thesis i was struggling in my third year i was struggling with softwares i was struggling with all, almost everything in my architecture and that's the that's my motivation behind making all these videos i could have done any other thing i am working full time in an architecture job and that's enough for me but i really want to help you all and that's why i am just asking your support so support me take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye bye